Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're recapping quarterfinal action from the World Hockey Championship happening in Czechia. So we'll right into today, starting off with the first game between Germany and Switzerland. And this was a game highlighted by some excellent hockey. And we look at these two teams, we talked about it on the preview. These two teams were very, very evenly matched. Really could have went either way. Sort of just depended on who showed up for the game tonight. And really, both teams played great, right? For the full 60 minutes, a little bit towards the end, Switzerland kind of took control of the game. But through and through, this was a game sort of highlighted by both teams playing really, really good hockey. Always great to see, especially when you make it into a, a sort of that quarterfinal round. And, you know, for Switzerland, this is a big win for them. You know, they're, they're a team sort of coming in, trying to make their mark at this tournament. Always a team that's like sort of gets a little bit thrown away into the scaffolding when you look at a team, when you're comparing to teams like, you know, Canada, the U.S., uh, Sweden, Finland, they sort of get thrown away, but they're a team that has the potential to go really far in this tournament. And it really wouldn't surprise me to see a team like Switzerland make it all the way and win this whole thing this year. Definitely a team to take note of, but with that being said, we move on to the second game of today with a 6-3 to victory for Canada over Slovakia. And this was a game that, I mean... If you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. It was a chippy affair. It was one of those games that you had, you were on the edge of your seat. It was a, you know, you could argue it was a 6-2 hockey game. Most times you're sort of laid back, not expecting anything to happen. But Slovakia found a way to push, especially late. Canada had some undisciplined plays. You know, they took a couple bad penalties. Sure enough, they ended on a five on three at one point in the final five minutes. And when you do stupid things like that, eventually it's going to cost you. It didn't cost them in this one, although there was certainly a lot of looks for the Slovaks to really take control. But at the end of the day, Canada was able to win this one with a score of six to three. But if they keep doing what they're doing, especially late in games, they're going to get burned eventually. So you got to be real careful if you're Canada, just to make sure that you're playing good discipline hockey for the full 60 minutes. Don't be pulled into dumb stuff, especially when you have a game under locks. You don't want to give the other team any sort of momentum, especially that of a power play. We saw Bedard do it. I mean, he's a player that sort of we've seen him struggle a little bit this tournament, to be frank. You know, it's not what it was a couple of years ago, especially at those World Juniors. You know, you can roll the highlights of all our reactions to Bedard's goals. But at the end of the day, this is no longer the World Juniors. This is the World Championships. You got to bring your A game for all 60 minutes. Third game of the day here between Sweden and Finland. Now, this was a game to take note of. Two to one was your final in overtime for Swedes. But at the same time, this game was 0-0 real deep into this game and really could have went either way. Sweden got the first one. Finland tied it up with about a minute left uh, to play in the third period. And then, of course, a bad penalty taken by the Finns. Sure enough, shocked it wasn't a penalty shot. I might also add that. Penalty power play goes to Sweden, an absolute onslaught. I said it to myself at the time. I'm like, this is not going to be pretty. Sweden put on, I think it must have been 30 seconds of shots. And finally, one found the back of the net, meaning Sweden will move on to the semifinals. Finland will be sent home. But this was a really, really good game. It really was. Either team was going to take this one right up until the very end. Two evenly matched teams, especially that's what I love about this tournament. Is once you get through that preliminary round, it really is anyone's tournament. So with that being said, real good game for Sweden today. They played good. You, that's what you sort of want to see out of a team like Sweden. They're not going to back down, especially from a little bit of adversity. They haven't faced any so far to, up to this point in this tournament. They've won all their games in regulation. So what's a little overtime win for you against a rival with the Finns? Good start for them. We'll see if they can continue their success into the semifinals. And then the last one of today, and this is one that might surprise a lot of people. If you go and watch the preview from yesterday, I, I, I kind of called it. And this was one of those games where, you know, the Czechs are a team that are going to play good structured hockey. They're going to be patient and they play really well in tight checking games. The U.S. is a team that likes to play free. They like to play skilled games. And at the end of the day, if they can't find open ice and they can't put the right shots on net. Sure, there was 30 something shots on net, but if they aren't the right shots, if they aren't the ones from the center of the ice. They're not going to go in 
And, we, you know, it's just one of those games where the Czechs played exactly, exactly as they were supposed to. They kept the puck out of the middle of the ice as best they can. You know, the U.S. had a couple good chances, and I'm not going to take away from the U.S., but at the end of the day, you need a lot of good quality chances, finding the back of the net and setting the tone early, especially against a home crowd with the Czechs where they're at home. They're going to be having the crowd behind them. Any sort of momentum is going to turn the tide you got to be real careful if you're the U.S., and unfortunately for them, they could not pull it off. With that being said as well, we talked about it yesterday in the preview, and I know I keep quoting the preview, but it's true. We talked about the addition of Pavel Zaka and David Pasternak. Sure enough, who scored the lone goal for the Czech for Czechia today? That was Pavel Zaka, and it was just one of those games where you could sort of see it. You know, the having those two players in the lineup just provides that little bit of offensive touch that I think the Czechs were missing a little bit, especially in preliminary preliminary play. So we'll see if they can continue their success. They got a tough matchup against Sweden coming up tomorrow. Definitely going to be an interesting game to watch. Now let's take a look at the news from today, and this is where I got a little creative. So for Switzerland, they're in the Switz. They're in the mix for this one. When we look at it, they're a team that has the potential to do really well. If they can find their way against Canada, it's going to be a good game. I'll be curious to see who takes this one. I don't think it's a lockdown for Canada in this one at all. I think if Switzerland can play their game like they have this entire tournament, they might just have a shot at knocking off the big bad Canadians. Time will tell on that one. As well, it was the eliminated germs in Germany for that one. And this was, you know, unfortunately for Germany, just couldn't quite get it done. Couldn't find the back of the net when they needed to. For that, Germany is eliminated. And for Canada, oh, Canada, that was a Slovaking. That was a good one. And it was just one of those games, right? It was Canada did dominate play for the most part. But at the same time, Canada's got to be careful, right? When we're looking at it, oh, Canada, here we go again. You got to be careful. You got to make sure you're playing discipline hockey for the full 60 minutes. Can't let teams back into the games. If you do let a team, especially of lower quality, you know, like a Slovakia, like a Switzerland, they're going to capitalize and they're going to pick momentum up and they're going to kill you that way. You got to be careful. Make sure to play a full 60 minutes of, of good disciplined hockey. Next one here is all Swede and no finish. I think I've used that one a million times on this channel. But at the same time, you know, Swede, Swede, Swede is all you need for Sweden. You got to play good hockey. Eventually, you'll get rewarded for finish for Finland. Just could not finish today. So that being said, Sweden moves on to the semifinals. Finland will be sent home. And the last one of, of today, this is my favorite one. We got the Czechia saying Czech, but the U.S. says, eh, that's some mated. That's a chess joke. But at the same time, you know, when we look at it, the U.S. unfortunately couldn't pull it off. Czechia on home ice pulled it off exactly what they needed to do. Played a full 60 minutes of their hockey. When you play their style of hockey, it is lights out. We'll take now a look at the playoff bracket of what's going on here. You can see Canada will play Switzerland in the semis, as well as Sweden will play Czechia. Both are going to be good matchups, and you can find those on May 25th, 8.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time between Czechia and Sweden. This will be a really good game. When we look at it, Czechia has momentum. They knocked off the big bad USA, and I would not be surprised to see them continue that success against Sweden. Sweden is a team that has had a little bit of struggle lately, finding their momentum, especially in games where, you know, the crowds against them in a lot of these games Look for Czechia to sort of score one early and keep the momentum rolling. If they can do that, Czechs have this game locked up. If Sweden can find it, find it early, take the crowd out, this game might be a good one and will probably come down to the wire. So be sure to check that one out. 8.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as well. The second game of the day between Canada and Switzerland. We already sort of talked about this one. 12.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this game, I think, is going to be another good one. I think when you look at these two teams, the way they're made up, Switzerland is going to play their sort of trappish style of hockey. Canada is going to try and blow them away. Always a good game when we see these two teams play will be interesting to see sort of what goes on there. As well, I would invite you to join us for the gold medal game. We'll be going live on May 26th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to come back to the channel, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the upload. And come and, come and join us for gold medal action, whoever it might be, whether that's Canada, whether that's Switzerland, whether that's Sweden or Czechia, whoever it might be, be sure to come back to the channel. Come join us for the live stream. We'll be streaming the entire game 
sort of a watch party style as we've always done. So be sure to come back, stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like this, you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on quarterfinal action or the World Hockey Championship. Until next time, see you.